let's imagine we're trying to design a speed boat. Um, this this is the uh, the front end of the boat. The uh, the water will be here, and uh, later on we're going to add a uh, um, we're going to add the body of the boat here. Okay, so uh, th this will be our speed boat, and this is the front end. Well, anyway, um, let, let, let's say we, we want to know this length here, and we want to know this length here. Oh, th this is a, an, an isosceles triangle here. Um, th th this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. What, what that means is that um, an isosceles triangle is when, when you have two lengths that, that, that are the same. So uh, these two lengths are the same. So therefore, this is an isosceles triangle. Okay. This this is also an iso isosceles triangle because uh, because this length here is the same as this length here. When two when two sides are of the same length, um, this is not an isosceles triangle here. Uh, hang on. So you see, um, the, these these three lengths are all different. So. Well, an isosceles triangle is when, when two lengths are of the same, sorry, when, when two sides are of the same length. Okay? So, um, ba basically, this length here is the same length as this one here. So, it's an isosceles triangle. Okay. So, the, 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 the vertical height here is six meters, and across here is three meters. So, somehow, find out this length here, and this length here, and this length here. These two will be the same, okay? But um, yeah, you um, you've got to somehow use your imagination. Um, try and split up. Well, do whatever you have to do. F f find out, um, find out this length and this length. In effect, don't worry about this. Okay. Um, so press pause and have a go. Okay. So um, so here, vi visualize it like this. Hang on. Um, remember, this is six and this is three. Okay. Hang on. Six and three. Let's let's remove this now. Six and three, right there. So um, so vi visualize it like this. Uh, this is three here. This is six here. Now you've got yourself a right angle triangle here. So you so you, so you uh, this is six. Remember. Uh, so you you could work out x now. Okay. So let's work out x. Um, uh, and then that 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 will give us this this length here. And then then later on we 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 can do this. Hang on. Once we know this this length here, um, we we can find out this whole length here. We can by 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 looking at this triangle here. By by looking at the big triangle now. Can you see that? By by you splitting up like this, you've got you've got two triangles in effect. The small the small one inside a bigger one. So the, the small one we we will use to find out x, and then later on. We, we will find, we will use a big triangle here to find out why here, this length here. We will need this length later on. Well, anyway, let's, let's work out, let's work out x. Now, this is 6, this is 3, this is a right angle here, this is x. So let's try and find out x now. So x squared equals, um, 6 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, that equals, hang on, x squared. Uh, this here would be 36. This here would be 9. So add the two together would be uh, 45. Um, now square root both sides. Uh, square root both sides. So x equals now on square root 45. Square root uh, 45 will be 6.71. 6.71. So we know x is 6.71. So this must also be 6.71 because it's an isosceles triangle. So, so this, this length here is the same as this length here. 6.71. Okay. Don't forget, this is also x. Okay. So, so now we, we know the two sides. We, we, we've got to find out this, this, uh, length here. Well, now jump, jump to, uh, the big triangle here. Now, the height of this big triangle is 6. The, uh, the length here would be this plus this. Okay, so um, so so the whole length here would be this plus this. So let's let's get my six point seven one plus three. Hang on, uh, plus three. Where's the plus? Uh, plus three equals this. So it's nine point seven one. Uh, nine. 
9.71. Remember, 9.71 is this distance here. Okay. Uh, and now let's call this y. So now y squared equals uh, 6 squared, uh, 6 squared plus uh, this squared plus uh, 9.71 squared. Okay. Um, so now this would be uh, 36 plus uh, plus that squared. So let's square this. Uh, hang on. Equals. 94.25 uh, 94.25 um, th this would be y squared so let's y squared um, let's add the two together now so plus 36 plus 36 equals this so when you add the two together it comes to 130.25 130.25 Okay, um, yeah, and now you square root both sides. So, so at, at the moment we are, we are here. So square root both sides. So this will be y and, uh, square root it. Uh, where's the square root this would be, square root this would be 11.41. 11.41. Okay, so, so the diagonal length is 11.41. So this is 11.41. So, so this length here is 11.41. Um, th this length here is 6. Point, um, 6.71 and this is also 6.71. Okay. So, uh, hang on. Uh, so this is 6.71. This is 6.71 and this was whatever it was. Um, okay.